Hey guys, Desol back in the Nerd K with my long overdue April 2022 pickups video. I know it's closer to June at this point than April. Uh, I had done this video a while ago and just forgot to upload it. So figure, let me just do it again. So we'll just jump right into it. Um, first one up is uh, my pickups from the MVD Blue Underground sale. I'll make sure to leave a link in the description below uh, for that pickup video. So I won't go into too much um, detail with these. Uh, just quickly go through them. First one up is a 1981 film uh, with uh, Tom Savini with the uh, makeup effects. And it's The Prowler. Really great slasher. I had picked this up a while ago uh, from Hamilton Books, so this is an upgrade. I accidentally, I thought I was getting the Blu-ray, but I ended up getting the DVD. Um, pretty identical. But this um, this was like $9.99 in the sale, so I figured good opportunity to upgrade the DVD. So I got the Prowler. Not sure if I showed the back. There we go. Next one up is an animated film, very much in the vein of, I think, heavy metal. And it's called Fire and Ice. Take a look at the back. Some extras. Next one up is another slasher um, from, I'm not sure what year this is. Definitely in the 80s. All these seem to be in the 80s. 1987. Stage Fright. The, uh, the killer in this has like a, what looks like an owl mask, I think. Um, these are all pretty cheap, so uh, I was glad to pick this up. Sorry for the glare. Hopefully you can see that. There we go. And some of the uh, extra features. The owl murders. Okay, uh, and last one up is a 4K lenticular special edition, one that I was on the fence of getting. It was always really expensive. I think at one point it was upwards of, you know, $60, like $54, $55, something like that. So I never got it. I heard the movie isn't that great, but it was down to the low 30s. I think it was low 30s, even high 20s. I forget how much it was, but it was a um, pretty decent discount. Um, and as you can see... I have a bunch of the lenticulars there, so I had to pick it up. And it was uh, Daughters of Darkness. And I know they just recently released the Blu-ray edition of this. Uh, but the drop in price um, made sense for me to pick it up. So, Daughters of Darkness, 4K. Uh, next one up is the Kino Sale. Again, I'll leave a link in the description below uh, for that pickup video. So I'll quickly go through these. First one up is Black Moon Rising with Tommy Lee Jones and Lim Linda Hamilton. There we go. A little bit about the movie and some of this. A lot of special features on this one. There we go. Next one up is a John Candy film. Love John Candy. Once Upon a Crime. I saw this years, years, years ago. So... Uh, definitely jumped on this one. A ton of people in here. Civil Shepherd, James Belushi. A ton of people. No special features, but here's a little bit about the film. Next one up is a movie that I watched all the time as a kid um, on HBO. Love this movie. Uh, I thought I had it. I had to double check to make sure I didn't. Surprised I never picked it up before. And it's Space Camp. Awesome movie. Made me want to really go to Space Camp as a kid. I'm pretty sure that's down in Florida and I'm up north, so. Totally unbelievable now. But I don't even know if they still do Space Camp, do they? Next one is another movie I saw a bunch as a kid. Um, probably shouldn't have because it's rated R. But again, back in the 80s, that really, I guess, didn't matter. Uh, Chris Penn is in it, and it's Wildlife, are also with Eric Stoltz, Rick Moranis, a ton of people. Some of the special features. Next one up is a Gene Wilder, Madeline Kahn movie, uh, something that was always on my, um, kind of my wish list uh, during these Kino sales. I finally went ahead and picked it up. Yeah, Sherlock Holmes, Smarter Brother. Again, I watch 
I try to watch the trailers for everything I think I want to pick up. Uh, sometimes that's how I weed them out. Um, this one looked pretty good. There we go. And next one up is a Scorpion release. Uh, this just looked kind of stupid. It looks like kind of like a raunchy 80s comedy uh, with Mario Van Peebles. And this is early, yeah, 1985. And it's called Delivery Boys. I I know nothing about this movie except the trailer looked crazy. And like I said, it looks like one of those kind of raunchy 80s comedies, which are always fun. Next one up uh, is a Code Red release. This did not come with a slip. I don't know if it ever had a slip. It may have when it was first released. Uh, Bill Paxton is in this one, it looks like. And it's Butcher Baker, Nightmare Maker. I forget how much it was, but I know everything on the Kino sale is really uh, pretty cheap, so all good deals. Uh, next one up is another Code Red release. This does have a slip, and it's Trick or Treats. When Halloween Night Stopped Being Fun. A little bit about the film. Some special features. And last one up is a Kino 4K release, something I wanted to pick up when it was first released, um, but there were some disc issues, which you see more and more now. Um, so glad I was able to wait on it and then end up picking it up in the sale. And it's Hard Target, Jean-Claude Van Damme, and I've never actually seen this. Believe it or not, there's a lot of Van Damme movies I have not seen, so definitely glad to have this now in the collection. All right, next one up is uh, my one and only pickup from Walmart. And I had to pre-order this once I saw um, they had a um, exclusive slip. And it's Spider-Man No Way Home. Awesome, awesome slip. I mean, this really should have been the, the regular release slip. This is really nice. So I actually open this up and use the digital code and everything. I mean, I know everyone talks about this artwork, but it's just terrible. The movie's so good. And I get what they're doing in the background with Doctor Strange, but I mean, this is awesome. So I had to get that. And of course, here, let me move some stuff around here as I drop everything. Whoop. My OCD is for real. I have to make, it, make sure everything is straight. Okay. Next one up. So Spider-Man No Way Home slip. Exclusive Walmart slip. So of course I also had to double dip. And get the Best Buy exclusive steel book. Um, I pre-ordered this one as well. And I like them both. So I got both. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to open this one up. Probably won't. So I'm not going to be giving away any codes or anything. So I'm probably not going to open this up. At least not for now. So I'm not going to be able to really do an unboxing. But. Really like the artwork on that one. Next one from, okay, so that was Best Buy. Next one from Best Buy. Now, this wasn't a Best Buy exclusive, um, but I did pick it up from Best Buy. I pre-ordered it just because we had such a hard time getting um, the first movie in Steelbook. So I pre-ordered this one, and it's uh, the, the new Scream movie, I guess Scream 5. I really enjoyed this. I saw it in the theater, didn't like it. Uh, I know it's on Paramount. Is it on Paramount Plus? now is it paramount plus or is it what's the other one peacock maybe it's peacock i forget it's in it's wait this is paramount isn't it yeah it's a paramount release so it's probably paramount plus anyway here's some of the special features i know they've announced scream six um i think nev campbell is the only one that maybe hasn't signed on yet from what i've been told by jim who is um the expert in all things Scream and Nev Campbell. Next one up is a, I think this is a Best Buy exclusive, and it's a 4K steelbook of Cabin in the Woods, Lionsgate steelbook. Again, hitting it out of the park. I know everyone's seen this, but it is really awesome. I never actually owned this movie, um, so I'm glad to have it. I know there was another kind of regular 4K release a few years back that I never picked up, so... Glad to have this. I know they, um, I think you can pre-order Universal Soldier on, uh, I think Lionsgate is, is releasing this in a kind of similar slip. 
Uh, the artwork looks terrible. I'm hoping, I'm still gonna get it. I'm hoping that's just like an early picture of it and they, they fix up the artwork. And last up from Best Buy, they had some sort of deal, um, I, I think, where you buy three movies, you get a certain percent off. This is a while ago, and this is the last one that came in just because they all had different release dates. And it's Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. Kind of a bummer it didn't come with a slip. Not sure why they do that with some of their 4Ks. you think they would for the 4Ks. I know Pitch Black didn't come with a slip. There's probably some others as well, but I think a movie like this, they would do that. And they do have the alternative kind of original artwork there. But I do like the uh, the new artwork. So I will keep it like this. And it also has a booklet and an advertisement for Shock, which I already have. So always glad to get the book. Just wish I had a slip. And the last four, one, two, three, four, are from Amazon. So when I was quarantining <laughs> uh, during COVID uh, a few weeks ago, I started watching, once I was had enough energy to actually get off the futon and pop movies in, um, I, I had, I don't know, an urge to watch Hard to Kill. And it brought me down a rabbit hole of Steven Seagal movies. I ended up buying a bunch um, on eBay because apparently I can't find a lot of them on on. Uh, on I guess U.S. Blu-ray. Uh, so I was getting them like region. B oh, I think it's all region. They're like Danish copies. You'll see it next month's video. Anyway, this one came in during April, and it's a four movie Steven Seagal collection, and the movies look terrible. Driven to Kill, Kill Switch, Mercenary for Justice, and Today You Die. I did watch the trailers. They don't look terrible. These are all like early two thousands, I think. 2009, 2000, oh, 2005. So they're all pre-2010. So it just comes with the DVD and Blu-ray. So yeah, I think pre-2010. So they're probably bad, but they're probably still watchable. Let me know in the comments if, if anyone's have seen these. $7 for four movies. Seven, uh, four movies compressed into one DVD. I'm tempted to watch it just to see how bad that looks. It's still stretching it for Blu-ray for sure. But for seven bucks, why not? Next one up is a steelbook that I pre-ordered right when it was first announced, just because I loved the look of the steelbook. Um, I don't. I love steelbooks. I don't always get the steelbook version. Um, I know uh, what's the one? Edge of Tomorrow just came out, and it's already on. It already says coming soon at Best Buy, which is annoying. Which I I don't know. I gotta check again. Sometimes that happens, and then they go back in stock. But the artwork doesn't seem that great. I feel like that's just like a 4K slip. Um, so I don't always do it, but sometimes uh, a steelbook will come out that catches my eye and I have to pre-order it. Now, these are still available in stores, um, so they're not sold out or anything, and it really wasn't a Best Buy exclusive. So you have some options to pick it up. Just getting the inside stuff out. But it was heavy metal. Like, I mean, the artwork is sick. So it comes with uh, the first Heavy Metal on 4K and Blu-ray, I think. And then it comes with Heavy Metal 2000. Let me look at that back. That's awesome. Uh, the Heavy Metal 2000 is just a Blu-ray. Right, so here's just the first Heavy Metal on Blu-ray, then the 4K, and then Heavy Metal 2000 on Blu-ray. So... And of course, comes a digital digital copy, which I've already redeemed. So, just a really nice looking steelbook. So I had to jump on that, and it's actually an an upgrade to my laser disc of heavy metal. And again, I I got this simply for the artwork. The artwork is so sick on this. And if you've seen my Nerd K videos, uh, you know that I I, I sometimes do a ro rotation of a laser disc that I hang up so anyway so two more another one that was a pre-order uh, from Amazon something that was a Scream Factory I believe release uh, that have, has since gone out of print and I'm glad I didn't try to buy it on eBay New Year's Evil with a really nice looking slip it's a Kino release 
a little bit about the film and and decent amount of special features. Don't know if these are I don't know if these are new special features or ported over from the Swing Factory ones. And it actually has a alternative um, artwork which they don't always do for Kino. But don't worry, it still has the really generic <laughs> disc artwork. I remember the first time buying a Kino movie, seeing that, I was like, wow, that's really budget. So glad to get that in the collection. And last up is uh, something I had to get. Um, I really wish the packaging was a little nicer. It's not terrible. It's the uh, 4K trilogy of The Godfather. Um, you've seen a, a million of un unboxings of these, I'm sure. But it comes with, like, individual. I'll just take the first one out. Like these cardboard individual sleeves with some decent artwork kind of similar to so this would have been an upgrade to a couple things so I had um, an original DVD trilogy that came in in kind of like a fake leather bound looking kind of outer box with very similar slips like this um, that I sold on eBay because I had uh, a Blu-ray trilogy of this. Um, and then I think my stepdad was in town and I just, I know, he just got his first Blu-ray player. So um, I gave him that because I knew I was getting this. So it's an upgrade to those. Here's the J card, a ton of the special features, some new, some old, I believe. And there we go. So that's it, guys. That These are my April uh, 2022 pickups. Let me know in the comments below. What did you get in the month of April? Did you um, take advantage of the Kino sale, the Blue Underground sale um, at MVD? I think MVD is having an Arrow sale. I'm not sure if that's still going on <clears throat> right now. I think it's May, what is it, May 21st. I'm really, really late on this video, guys. Pretty soon I'm going to be doing my June pickups. Um, June isn't as much as this yet. A um, couple sales, I think, coming up. I I'm, I want to say next week might be the Halfway to Black Friday sale. Um, so we'll have to check that out at um, Vinegar Syndrome. And I believe there's also um, Severin is having their mid-year sale. Anyway, let me know in the comments below um, if you've picked any of these up. Let me know if you get anything from the from the MVD sale or the uh, Vinegar Syndrome sale. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, see you guys in the Nerd Cave.